All right, what's going on guys? Today I am going to attempt to fix my pre-Sonos Aris 3.5 uh, Studio Monitor speakers. The on-off switch broke. I contacted the company, customer support. They were very, very unhelpful. Um, couldn't provide me with documentation, replacement parts, anything like that. Uh, basically, they were no help at all. So what I did was to get a switch I got this switch from AliExpress. It is a 20 millimeter four pin uh, rocker switch. So I'm gonna try to put this into the PreSonus studio speaker. Let's try and fix this speaker right now. So this is the PreSonus back of the speaker. First thing is we're gonna take off uh, all these screws. So the smaller ones do not need to come off. That is useful to know. So this is the back side, right? The front inside there has a couple of screws that I believe need to come off to get to the front side. In the back here, you can kind of see like, like this one right here. There's a bunch of them in there, I think it's five. And that one right there. We have the last screw from that side. So now we can take off the front panel like this. So here is where my switch issue was. So that's where my issue is with the switch. Don't know how these come off yet. <laughs> I'm gonna figure this out right now in real time. Took a while. But I got one. So it looks like that. I just managed to kind of like yank it off. I don't know what I was doing the rest of the time, but let me see if I can do this for the rest of them and we will be on our way. <laughs> That's two down. Honestly, I don't know what I did. I think I squeezed it with uh, these tweezers on the top. Maybe there's like a latch on the inside. Really not sure how I made that work, but um, we shall continue. <laughs> Look at that, a third. Whew. And number four. So now we have like all this glue around here. And I need to find a way to get the glue off and then put the new switch in there. This is probably a bad idea. Okay, y'all, uh, took some doing, but finally managed to get the old rocker switch out of the hole right here um it was very annoying i ended up having to pick off the glue that held the rocker switch in place plus there was um two little um like almost hinges you have to push in to get it out so that was a lot and very annoying but uh we got it done so time to put in the new one and uh, the drill was probably not a good idea, <laughs> but as someone who's going into this blind, uh, wasn't the worst thing because, uh, you know, the enclosure is still intact here. So now we're going to place the new rocker switch inside of this and then connect the wires and um, screw everything back in and hopefully it works. Focus. This is the new one. Yeah, I think this is the way that it goes in. There's still some glue here, but I'm hoping that it can just kind of... Oh, look! Easy. Fits right in. Cool. Alright. So let's rewire some of this junk. I think uh, this section here just probably has to get tightened. I think it's a little too loose. Cool. Definitely tighter. Do the same with the red one. That's all connected. Now we can attempt to put this back together. See if it works. So everything I did before, let's just do that in reverse. All right, so I put these speakers back together. Um, you can see the new red switch that I installed here. 
Um, and now let's test these out, see if they work. <laughs> Hopefully they do. All right, flip on the switch. Okay, lights on, that's good. Uh, let's test out with some music I've been working on. Okay. That works. Sweet. Yep, perfectly fine. All right, cool, that's amazing. Uh, it works all in all. Not really a very difficult thing to fix or install a new switch. So if you have pre-Sonos Aries 3.5 speakers and you're trying to fix them, that's how you would do it. I personally am probably going to sell these now at a reduced rate, just because I was not a fan of how the customer service was for pre-Sonos. So probably going to put these up um, on Facebook Marketplace or eBay or something and just uh, kind of hand them off. I also have got new KRK uh, 3.5 speakers, or actually no, KRK 4, Go Ox 4 speakers. Um, so that's the new ones I'll be using for production and all that. So uh, yeah, if you want to know more about those, let me know, I'll go through them. And uh, that's it, <laughs> cool. If you have pre-Sonos 3.5 speakers and they're broken and you want to know how to fix them, hopefully that helped you out. Uh, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you.